Now, let us discuss about the series combination of dielectrics. Suppose I have two plates that is parallel plates like this of a capacitor and I filled two dielectrics like, like this. I have, let's say, I have a dielectric with K1 as dielectric constant filled in the space like this and let D1 be the thickness of the dielectric. Similarly, I have another dielectric which is of dielectric constant K2 of thickness D2 let's say D2 filled uh, next to K1, next to the dielectric with dielectric constant K1. Let the total distance between the plates be D. D is the distance between or distance between the plates of the capacitor. So how will you find the effective dielectric constant? I am saying this, this combination is series because I can redraw this like See, let's here it will be positively charged, and and the other end of other plate will be negatively charged. Suppose I introduce another plate. See, I'm drawing this left plate like this, and I'm introducing two plates in between the dielectrics. Say, a plate like this and another plate like this. This plate, negative plate, I draw it here. See, there is no distance between these two plates. Let's say this plate is A, this plate is B. I have plate A here and plate B here and another plates A dash and B dash introduced between the plates A and B. So that A dash B dash is negligible. There is no distance between A dash B dash. And clearly, this space is filled with K1 and this place is filled with K2, Di uh, dielectric with dielectric constant K2. And clearly this side is positively charged so that the plate A dash become negatively charged. By induction the plate B dash becomes positive charge and the plate B, the negative charge itself. I can connect these two plates. See, I'm not connecting. There is no distance between A dash and B dash. Always remember that. So, from this arrangement, it is clear that these two plates, sorry, these two capacitors are in series. Clear, because the charge remains the same on both the capacitors. So that the effective capacitance will be, we, you can write C effective will be for the series combination, it will be C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. For two capacitors, the effective capacitance will be C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. We already derived this expression. If you want to know about this, you can always go and check the video. And you know C1 will be that means the capacitance of the first capacitor will be, you know, dielectric constant K1 times epsilon 0 A divided by D1, where A is the cross-sectional area of the uh, plate. See, the pl plate, all the plates have the same cross-sectional area. So, you don't have to take A1, A2, etc. So, C1 will be K1 epsilon 0 A by D1. Similarly, C2 will be K2, that means the capacitance of the second plate, second capacitor, it will be K2 epsilon 0 A divided by D2. Now, substituting it in here, we have C effective equal to K1 epsilon 0 A by D1 into K2 epsilon 0 A divided by D2 whole divided by K1 
epsilon 0 a by p1 plus k2 epsilon 0 a divided by d2. This is equal to c effective is equal to k1 k2 you can write this as k1 k2 epsilon 0 epsilon 0 times epsilon 0 epsilon square a square divided by d1 d2 whole divided by you can take this epsilon 0 a outside divided by k1 by d1 plus k2 divided by d2. Now, if you simplify this, you will get C effective is equal to C effective is equal to K1 K2 epsilon 0 square A square divided by D1 D2 divided by epsilon 0 A. You can cross multiply this. You will get K1 D2 plus K2 D1 whole divided by D1 D2. You can cancel this D1 D2, D1 D2. One of the epsilon zeros will get cancelled, also the A. So the final expression will be C effective equal to C effective is equal to k1 k2 divided by k1 d2 plus k2 d1 clear so sorry epsilon k so this is the c effective okay now i'm replacing this let's see I'm replacing, sorry, what I'm doing is, I'm replacing these two dielectrics with a single dielectric. Let's say its dielectric constant is K effective. See, the charge remains the same. And here the thickness is D. Thickness of the dielectric is D. See, this, this dielectric is completely filled in the space between the plates. So that there is no space between the plate and the dielectric. Okay. Uh, when, when we draw, there is actually a space. But in reality, there is no space or there is negligible space. Okay. Also, the area remains the same. See. I am drawn like if I these two have different cross section area but this area has these two areas have the same value cross section area A here also the cross section area is A. So if I write the C effective of this one I can write this as C effective is equal to K effective into epsilon zero A divided by D clear let's call this as equation number two and let's consider this as equation number one so the equation one and two remains the same one equal to two that means you have k effective times epsilon zero a divided by t is equal to k1 k2 epsilon 0 a divided by k1 d2 plus k2 d1 clear so that this epsilon 0 a epsilon 0 a will get cancelled and the final expression will be k effective is equal to k effective is equal to k1 k2 d divided by k1 d2 plus k2 d1 so this is the effective <coughs> dielectric constant of two dielectrics connected in series okay now what will happen
we need to write a special case what will happen this d1 and d2 that is case let's say case 1 if d1 equal to d2 which is equal to half of the distance between the plates if i introduce the value in here k effective is equal to k1 k2 d divided by k1 d by 2 plus k2 d by 2 because d1 d2 is equal to d by 2 this is equal to k1 k2 d divided by you can take the d by 2 outside it will be k1 plus k2 this d and d will get cancelled and this 2 will go up so that k effective will be k effective is equal to 2 k1 k2 divided by k1 plus k2 this is the case when the thickness of the dielectrics remains the same this is the general case and this is this case happens when the dielectrics are of same thickness clear